Hello HP Touchpad users, great news! Today I'm going to show you how to reflash the A6 firmware the super easy way with JC Selen's Touchpad Toolbox. First off, a little background information. Some time ago, renowned HP Touchpad developer JC Sullins informed Touchpad users that there was a problem with the A6 firmware. This issue can cause an unusually high battery drain during sleep. This problem occurs over time while running both Android and WebOS. As a result, the touchpad's battery drains more quickly with daily use and the overall lifespan is reduced. If your battery drain seems to be much higher on average, then flash the A6 firmware to bring it back down. Users experiencing sudden drops in battery life should also run this as well. The solution? Flashing the A6 firmware with the touchpad toolbox will fix the problem, but you'll want to repeat this process every couple months to maintain good battery health. You can test for this problem with the free application Battery Monitor Widget. This will allow you to monitor the deep sleep history. Simply install it for free from the Play Store, open it up for the first time, check the History tab at the top, and look for the percentage slash H. Click on that and it'll turn to MA. This will allow you to follow along with the rating system in our guide. Consult my Easy Way guide here to get an average ROM rating for your battery drain. Now this is usually best case scenario as I've set it up and tested it. We'll talk about the Pac-Man ROM. It has a nice low battery drain on average of around minus 5 to minus 20 MA. Good battery health will look like a nice consistent line of minus 5 or minus 20 MA intermittently spiking up and down just a little bit. When you turn the tablet on of course this is going to spike up to 600 to 1000 MA depending on what you're doing. Now if you've got bad battery health, this is going to be inconsistent. It's going to be higher, you're going to see like 80 to 100, you might see inconsistent 32s to 60, that kind of thing. And that will indicate that it's time to flash the A6 firmware. Now I'm going to show you step by step how to flash your A6 firmware. First off, refer to my super easy way guide available at XDA or the RootsWiki forums. It will tell you everything you need to know about running the touchpad toolbox which now allows us to flash the A6 firmware. First off, download and install the Novacom software. This will enable the tablet to communicate with your computer. There are download links for 32 and 64 bit versions of Windows, Linux and get the Mac one right here. Download and install that. Once you've got that all ready, you'll want to download the touchpad toolbox. Look for the latest download version in step number four. Click the link to download it. Now this will be a zip file. Find an appropriate folder. I'm just going to put it right on my desktop. And then you'll need to extract that folder. Open it up. Open it up again. And here are the links to run the touchpad toolbox for Windows, for Linux, and for Mac. I'm going to double click this once we're ready. First off, we will need to put the tablet into WebOS recovery mode. We can do this from Android by holding down the power button, selecting Reboot, and when the Mooboot menu comes up, use the volume button to scroll down and select WebOS recovery mode. Click the home button to start it up, and you'll see the big USB symbol on the screen. Once in WebOS recovery mode, plug the tablet into your computer with the USB cable and run the application from the computer. In my case, I'll be running the Windows version and it's a bat file that starts it up and will continue on my touchpad. Once in the touchpad toolbox main menu, use the volume button to scroll up and down in the list. Go down to reflash A6 firmware and press the home button to select it. Once the procedure has started, don't do a thing, just wait patiently for it to finish. You'll see an OK in the bottom left hand corner of the screen once it's complete. Till then, please stand by. There it is, the OK in the bottom left hand corner, that's it, we're done. Go back to the main menu, use the volume button to scroll down to reboot, select home, and that's it, you're going to reboot to Android. We've maintained our battery health, our A6 has been reflashed, congratulations. Please subscribe to see the latest updates with Android. Thanks for watching everybody.